What's up, guys? I'm here to do Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for this weekend, June 11th, 12th, and 13th. I'm gonna see what's going on with you, Gemini, Libras, and Aquariuses. I'm gonna start off with the Moonology deck. Let's see what is up. Air sign. What is this? Ooh. A romantic cycle begins. And this is new moon in Libra. So for you Libras specifically, um, there may be a new relationship on the horizon for you. A new romantic cycle. It could be with the same person that you're with. Or it could be somebody just new completely. Um, surrender to the, the divine. Full moon. So something is... You, uh, air signs, excuse me, is Mercury retrograde, and I've been stammering over my words like a lot, but, um, uh, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, is, there's a need for you to surrender to the divine, like under, under this energy, anything that you have not been, um, being super realistic about, if you haven't been speaking your truth under this energy is calling for you to surrender, um, especially you Libras, it's something new coming in for you in regards to a uh, love or a new cycle in a relationship. So let me read this one out loud. Um, new moon in Libra, give and take could well be the answer to whatever dilemma you're asking about. Compromise may be called for. It's time to start negotiating or even renegotiating. When the new moon in Libra comes up, there's a restart for you and someone else. A new relationship could be beginning. And if that's the case, the chances are this will be a healthy, well-balanced connection. And anything you do after pulling this card, doing it in pairs is advised, such as teaming up with someone in business or in your personal life. Libra is the sign of relating. And this card suggests that whoever is at the heart of the issue you're addressing is someone who will be open to talking things through. Avoid being selfish. It won't get you anywhere at this time. Reach out to someone and let them know you care. Feel more, think less. Marriage or engagement is on the cards. A legal matter will go your way. Pay some attention to your appearance, but don't be all about appearances. Libra is a sign of love and harmony. Negotiation and relationships. It is harmonious, kind, and luxurious, and always aiming for balance. So when we have the new moon in Libra, or at any time you draw this card, there's a restart possible for anything that everything connected to partnerships, negotiations, appearances, and justice. Remember that Libra is depicted by the by a set of scales. This energy wants to bring back things to equilibrium. So. A lot of you air signs could be feeling like something is off in your life. Something, um, especially in regards to romantic relationships that you've been in, um, something is kind of off balance with this situation. Um, my guys are, are asking air signs to surrender to uh, making things right with somebody I'm hearing. Or balancing something out with someone. I feel like a lot of you air signs do desire to be in like. Like a well balanced relationship. Like you want to be in a healthy relationship. And I feel like you can have that. But before you can have that. It's like this new moon eclipse energy is calling you to like. Speak your truth. Or surrender to the divine first. I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm getting this feeling like air signs. Like, you're so close to something that you want. But in order to get it, it's like, I don't know. Maybe you have to reach out to this person. Or you have to speak your truth. Or you have to surrender to some type of circumstances before you can start this new cycle. Or you have to close something out before you can start this new cycle. This is what I'm getting. And I feel like this eclipse energy is going to help you do that. But anyway, I'm going to pull you some cards from the Psychic Tarot. 
Speaking and reading Gemini Libra Aquarius, June 11th through the 13th. Spirit, what messages do you have for the air signs? Colors don't start flying everywhere. I've already cleansed and saged my cards. I don't know why. They are like coming out so weird. Anyway. bottom of the deck we have temptation so i feel like for you air signs it's something uh it's some type of devilish energy around you i don't know if this is somebody you're in a relationship with and the person is like codependent or you guys are like succumbing to your addictions because you're trying to deal with something here um that's why the card the monology deck is saying surrender to the divine it's time to let go of something that's toxic or this may be this may you this may be you codependent on someone or so someone is codependent on you but it's a definitely it's an unhealthy attachment here to someone or something if you're in a relationship i feel like this is a toxic relationship air signs we have solar plexus chakra emotional loss and suffering in silence yes Something is, you guys, you air signs are not acting like your normal selves. Suffering and silence and emotional loss. I don't know what's making you sad or, or this devil energy has you like, you feeling restricted to where like you're suffering in silence. You're not living your truth. You're not happy. It's something that's like stealing your joy right now. And solar plexus chakra is it's it's a it's a fire in your belly it's something that you need to give into surrender to i feel like a lot of you air signs are like trying to be in control of this situation that could be what this devil energy is somebody here is trying to control a situation instead of just surrendering to whatever this ending is surrendering to whatever this new beginning is like you really need to listen to your intuition because something is like making you feel like you're suffering something is making you sad so whatever this is that you need to release this energy this new moon eclipse is here to help you do that or it's going to happen anyway whether you like it or not it's going to happen anyway whether you like it or not but there's a need for you guys to surrender to Stop trying to control an outcome to something and just surrender. Just let it go. Let's see. Yeah, I'm hearing suffocation. So, are you air signs are feeling suffocated by someone? Let's see what the tarot has to say. Especially you Libras, you may feel like something is throwing you off balance. Magician on the bottom of the deck. So some of you could be dealing with the Aries. 
seven of cups. Okay. Let's see. We have the two of wands, the death, and the princess of swords or the page of swords. So, yes, you air signs. First of all, you're spying on somebody with this page of swords. Either you're spying on somebody or somebody is spying on you. But somebody here is trying to do research on something or someone. I don't know what that's about. The two of wands with the death card. There's a decision that you air signs need to make to end something. A lot of you air signs could also, that's what this sad energy is. It could be you going through the dark night of the soul. You guys are changing. Death card is here. Or this eclipse energy is going to force some type of change upon you. And you're going to feel like you're just going through the motions and shit is just all over the place. Try to surrender to the divine and just go, just roll with it. Whatever changes, whatever endings, whatever is trying to fall away from your life, don't resist it. But definitely with this two of wands and death card, some of you guys are deciding to put an end to something. I don't know what you're trying to end though. Some of some of your air signs could be dealing with a Scorpio. Let's see. Or Capricorn. I have the two of wands here. Hold on, guys. Okay. Yeah, I have my laptop right here, so why is the two of wands here? King of Wands reverse. So some of you could be dealing with a uh, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Yeah, I, I feel like this King of Wands reverse is you guys. Even though you guys are air signs, some of you may have fire in your chart, but I feel like this is you. This is you having to make this decision, but you're struggling with it. It's like making this decision is like really like stressing you out. Because the King of Wands is in the reverse. This is in the upright. The King of Wands takes action. He knows what he wants. He's decisive. He goes after it. He has a plan. He has goals. He's And he's going to, you know, get going. He's not going to procrastinate on wait or wait on making a decision. King of Wands knows exactly what he, what he wants. In the reverse, this is telling me that you guys are not taking action. There's some type of delay with you making this decision. And I don't know why. Like, what is delaying? Why are they not taking action, Spirit? Why are Gemini is not taking action? Yeah, I feel like you guys are delaying the delaying making the decision of going towards something that could potentially make you happy. Maybe this is an ex you want to get back with because we have the six of cups here with the three of cups reversed. So for some of you, this could be a third party situation, but I feel like you guys are trying to make a decision to go back to an ex because the six of cups is here. But it's upright. This is soulmate energy. This is somebody that you feel like is the one for you. But you're delaying making this decision because maybe you're not sure if this person is going to want you back. But since the Six of Cups is upright, this means that you have good memories with this person. I mean, some of you can have a child with this person. Um, but this is someone who you really feel like is your soulmate. You could have known this person since childhood or from back when you were in school. Something like you know this person from like your early years of life at some point. But you feel like this person, like you and this person have a special connection. You understand each other when you communicate. Because we have a bird in the background here in this Six of Cups. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's somebody from your past that you want to go back to air signs because you, you have good memories with this person. You have a good connection with this person. You feel like this person understands you. But you're delaying making this decision because you're not sure if this person may want to reconcile with you. I hate when my cards get mixed up. What's the six of cups here? Why? What, what is the delay? What is delaying them from making this decision? What is delaying them now to make this decision? Yeah, it's the six of Hierophant reversed. Um, I feel like you guys are delaying making this decision because, like I said, number one, you don't know if this person is going to take you back or how you're going to be received by this person. Um, possible third party here. And with the Hierophant reverse, either some of you, you're just not sure about how you should approach this past person. And I feel like if you're getting advice from a Taurus, this person is giving you bad advice. Uh, some of you may feel like you and this, this person may not want the same thing as you. Um, you may be trying to be in like some type of unconventional relationship with someone because the Hierophant reverse um, talks about um, like untraditional like it's the opposite of traditional so this wouldn't be a traditional marriage this would be like somebody who believes in being in like a polygamy relationship it doesn't have to be but it can indicate that for me um this is somebody who doesn't go by traditional norms this also could be indicating that you guys are not listening to your higher self and also um, some of you may be trying to get out of a marriage or you're going through a divorce process or some type of long-term relationship that you have to get out of before you can move towards this six of cups person or this soulmate. Yeah, so I can see what the hesitation is about. It's like you have to end something first or you have to end something or get out of like some type of marriage or long-term relationship. Or some of you are just not sure if this person is going to want to be a part of you. This person, this soulmate person that you feel like is for you. I don't think, I mean, you may be unsure if this person like agrees with your views on relationships. I don't, it's something... Or maybe this you you don't feel like this soulmate person is gonna want to reconcile with you if they find out that you're still in a divorce process trying to leave somebody else. Like that may not be good enough for this person. This person may just want you to be completely done with them before you start anything with them. I don't know why is the death card here. A magician. Yeah, like I said, some of you could be dealing with the Aries. That's the magician here. The Emperor. Yeah, it's time for you guys to manifest something new. Like, I feel like whatever you're in that's making you feel like you're suffocated, once that ends with this Eclipse energy... You're going to be, I'm hearing rapid manifestation. You're going to, like once whatever this is ends for you, whatever this is making you feel suffocated or making you feel sad, it may be some type of guilt here, uh, whatever this sad energy is, once 
the dark night of the soul process is over with, it's going to be rapid manifestations for you guys, for air signs. Something that you really want is going to manifest quickly after something ends. Yeah, you're going to start to get your power and your confidence back once you end something. Yeah, because uh, some of you air signs, you have um, a, a water sign female that's really like uh, making you feel depressed. This, pay, this person is like sucking the, the happiness out of you, sucking the life out of you. There's a, un, a emotionally unstable water sign that you're dealing with that's like sucking the life out of you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is what has to end. I don't know what role this Queen of Cups plays in your life. Um, this could be a girlfriend. This could be a wife. This could be a baby mother. This could be um, a mom. But whoever this Queen of Cups is, this that's why that's that's why I keep keep hearing suffocation. This Queen of Cups, a uh, Queen of Cups reverse can be really smothering, really clingy, um, obsessive, emotionally unstable. Uh, she's whiny um, and overbearing, like a Queen of Cups. She's like overbearing and she's making you feel depressed with the sun in reverse. She's just like, I don't know, this Queen of Cups reverse just sucks the life out of everything. And this is the person that you need to let go of or release or put up boundaries with or create some distance between you and this person. Or like I said, the death card is here. Something is just, this eclipse energy is going to end whatever type of connection that you have with this Queen of Cups reversed. Because we don't come to this life to be sad and depressed and unhappy and feeling drained and feeling, you know. Or this Queen of Cups reverse could be feeling like you, you're you leaving her out in the cold. I feel like you're going to end up, this energy is going to end up making you make this decision that you need to make. It is going to end something here. And this Queen of Cups reverse is not going to take it well. She's not going to be happy about it. The Sun card in reverse, she's, the Sun card in reverse can indicate feeling left out in the cold by a partner if you're in a relationship. Like she may feel like you're abandoning her. What is this Queen of Cups reverse with the Sun card reverse? Yeah, Wheel of Fortune reverse. Yes, you you've been experiencing some type of misfortune with this Queen of Cups in reverse. Like maybe you just feel like. Your life has just been like, cause the, the wheel of fortune reverse is misfortune. So you could be like, why me type of energy? Like, uh, like you feel like you're just experiencing so much bad luck being with this queen of cups reverse. And the wheel of fortune reverse can also indicate karma. So you're feeling like you're having some type of bad luck or this Queen of Cups reverse is like bad luck. This could be a karmic partner for some of you. Yeah, uh, this temptation card. Temptation, which is the devil. With this Queen of Cups reverse, the Wheel of Fortune reverse, and the Sun reverse. This, you may have a codependent water sign um, that's around you. And this person like really like drains you stresses you the fuck out and I, i'm i'm also getting that this queen of cups reverse is like mean spirited like she's mean yeah seven of pentacles reverse somebody is getting impatient here Somebody doesn't want to invest in the situation anymore. You've invested seven pentacles already and seen nothing come of it at all. 
So somebody doesn't want to invest in this situation anymore. They don't want to put any time, energy, effort, resources, nothing. Why is the Seven of Pentacles reversed? Yeah, look, Three of Swords. Yeah, heartbreak, disappointment. Yes, a lot of you air signs, or it doesn't have to be, this Queen of Cups reverse doesn't have to be a water sign. For a few of you, I believe that it is a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be, though. But whoever this female energy is that you air signs are dealing with, and you don't have to be in a heterosexual relationship. This could be same sex, whatever. But whoever this Queen of Cups reverse is, this person is emotionally unstable. They are clingy. They are obsessive. They are possessive. They are codependent on you. And you feel like this person is just a fucking nuisance in your life. The universe wants you to stop trying to control this situation in whatever manner you have been. Like maybe you've been laying, been delaying making this decision to end this relationship because you don't want to hurt this person's feelings or you don't want to feel like the bad guy. Because let's be serious, like air sign people, you care a lot about your image and what you look like to the outside world, which is nothing wrong with that. But if you're worrying about what you look like to other people too much to the point where it's causing you not to make decisions that are necessary for your own life and for your own happiness... That's no, that's no, you, you don't do that. You don't sacrifice your own happy, just be your own happiness, just because of what other people would think about you. This is your life that you have to live. So I feel like you guys are going to make this decision. This eclipse energy is going to force you to make this decision. Cause I kind of feel like you're just fed up with this queen of cups reverse and seven of pentacles reverse with the three of swords. You don't want to invest in anything. You don't want to invest in this person anymore. And then this three of swords has three people on it. Definitely a third party situation here. Like you may be in a relationship with somebody, but you're in love with somebody else. So you have to like break up with somebody in order to go towards the person you really want to be with. But you know, this is going to cause three of swords. This is going to cause a major disappointment for whoever this queen of cups is that you're in a relationship with. And even though it may hurt this person, I feel like it's what's necessary. Cutting the cord from this Queen of Cups reverse is going to allow your blessings to come in. And it's also going to be good for this person too. Because you shouldn't be this codependent or attached to, attached to someone. This Queen of Cups reverse hasn't done any self-work. Because if, if she did, she wouldn't be this clingy or this annoying Lots of three of swords here. Yeah. King of Cups with the Page of Pentacles. Yes. I feel like, see, it's counterparts here. The Queen of Cups is in reverse. The King of Cups is upright. I feel like you guys are going to feel better when you make this decision. Queen of Cups with a page of pentacles. Yeah, it's like you want to make an offer to somebody else. I feel like you're going to make this decision. The decision that you make to, do, to, to leave or end something or separate from somebody that you're with is going to feel like relief to you. And you feel like you're going to be free to offer this um, page of pentacles to this person other person that you feel like is your soulmate it could be an earth sign for some of you that you want to make an offer to yeah temper is reversed somebody here is going to be pissed somebody here can have a drinking problem too i don't know if this is you gemini libra aquarius you guys have been drinking to kind of like cope with these emotions or this could be this Queen of Cups reverse energy. She has a drinking problem. Because like I said, the devil card is here. It's some type of temptation. Some type of like abuse of substances. What is this page of pentacles? Yeah, you may have had a fight. Um, 
with this person you feel like is your soulmate. It, it might have been some type of drama surrounding this past person that you want to be with. Because the five of wands is reversed. The five of wands upright is pettiness, jealousy, competition, uh, haters, all that type of shit. In the reverse, this is like wanting to come out of conflict with someone. So I feel like King of Cups with the Page of Pentacles and the Five of Wands reverse, you're you're going back to this past person and reach out to offer them something, um, maybe apologize, maybe you buy them a gift, like some kind of peace offering because you don't want to like you don't want to beef with them no more. Let's see, Page of Swords. What is the page of swords? Yeah, the star card reverse. Definitely you Aquarius is. You Aquarius is maybe watching somebody or somebody is watching you. But Aquarius, the star card, you're in reverse. So I don't know if Aquarius, if you want to go back to a past person, I feel like you may be watching this person like online or something, trying to gauge the situation, trying to feel like you, it, trying to gauge to see if you should reach out or not. But I think you're not having the highest of hopes or you don't have that much faith that this person will want to speak to you for some reason. Why is the star reverse? Yeah, tower here. <sighs> yeah, I feel like um, air signs. I, I feel like whoever this past person is that you want to reach out to or go back to or speak to, I feel like you don't have that much faith that this person is going to want to talk to you or see you or something. But I feel like you're going to try anyway. Like you air signs are going to shoot your shot anyway. And this is going to cause a tower moment. Like, uh, yeah, I felt this eclipse energy is going to make you air signs just be like, fuck it and go for it. <laughs> the tower, why is the tower? Like, you're getting some type of push from the universe to speak to whoever this person is. At the very least, just talk to this person. What, what is this tower? Six of Pentacles, yes, because you want to balance something out. You wanting to balance something out with this past person is going to cause a tower moment. It's definitely going to have this Queen of Cups reverse for sure pissed off. And it may have other people around you talking and gossiping and speculating. Like, it's definitely going to cause a disruption, this decision that you're getting ready to make. So I completely understand why you've been delaying this decision or hesitating because I feel like this energy is just going to push you to just go for it. Why well, is the Six of Pentacles here? Yeah, Justice Reverse. Yeah, especially you Libras too. So Libras and Aquarius is for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Libra and Aquarius, reaching out to this person or trying to balance things out with this person is going to cause some type of tower moment. I feel like I don't know what happened between you and this past person, this person that you really feel like is your soulmate, but there is some type of injustice here with the justice reversed. You may have been receiving some type of karma if you did something to this person, but something here was unjust, was unfair between you and a past person that you really feel like is your soulmate. And I feel like this eclipse energy is going, is pushing you to go back and fix this, whatever this is, but it's going to piss somebody off. Well, I suggest this reverse. But see, at the beginning of your reading, we had, yeah, see, look, six of wands, and I was just getting ready to say, in the beginning, we had a new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. When you reach out to this person, I think they're going to be more receptive than you think. We have the six of wands here. This is victory. 
have two sixes here. We have three sixes, the six of cups, the six of wands, and the six of pentacles, six, six, six. This is definitely someone that you feel like is your soulmate. And I feel like if when you reach out to this person, it's going to cause a tower moment. But the tower, I feel like it's going to be good for you, but it's not going to feel so good for somebody else. Yeah. And you don't really know, like, I feel like you're just going to decide to just go for it. You don't really know what's, how it's going to turn out or what's going to be the outcome. But you're going for it because you're going to be listening to your intuition with the moon card. Um, Some of you may try to do this in secret. Yeah, three of wands. You're making plans with somebody else. Give me one more. What is the Six of Wands? Ace of Pentacles. Telling you. Like, I feel like it may be destined for you to strength card. Some of you, it could be a Leo that you want to move towards. This past person could be a Leo. Yeah, because the Ace of Wands is behind that. The strength card with the Ace of Wands and the Fool. You guys are going to take a chance, like you guys are going to make a decision and take a chance on going back to someone from your past that you feel like really is your soulmate. And I feel like you don't know what to expect when you reach out to this person. You don't know if they're going to want to speak to you, if they're going to block you because there was some type of um, unfair treatment or something was unfair with this person in the past with the justice reverse. But I feel like you guys are going back to right your wrongs. I also feel like this person makes you happier than the person that you're with. And you're going to take a chance. You're going to take a risk. And with the Ace of Wands, some of you air signs, whoever this fire sign is or whoever this soulmate is that you want to move towards this person, I feel like you want to fuck them too. Like you want to have sex with this person. It's just like a strong, that could be with this devil card is too you may feel like this person is like real temptation for you it's like something about this person that you just can't resist but air signs this has been your weekend reading um thank you for watching and see you guys next time